Here we are, bright and early, at the fish market in Ibiza town. It's fabulous, one of my favourite places. I'm here to buy a, a giant sea bass, if I can get one, for the salt baked fish that I'm doing this afternoon. Papa, what? Una lubina grande? Una lubina grande? Para sal. Para sal. Para la sal. Yeah, see. So it's really important that you make sure that the lovely fishmonger keeps the scales on. If the scales are removed, the, the salt will penetrate through the flesh and it will just be inedible. So here we've got the beautiful lubina, which is sea bass. And I'm going to be taking that this afternoon to cook for the famous Mambo brothers and their father, Javier. So I'm hoping that they're going to love it. We are here at the legendary salt flats of Ibiza. We were lucky enough to gain access to the protected salt flats of Salinas, which are an important part of Ibiza's heritage. This incredible salt was a valuable trade item that attracted pillagers and invaders. The wealth it brought paid for the construction of the walls of Ibiza's old town. Unlike refined table salt, these natural salt flakes contain many essential minerals and actually have health benefits. I've got my incredible sea salt that we've collected. That is diamonds in a bag. I've got my fabulous fish and amazing Selena salt next on to San Antonio to get cooking. Here we are at the iconic Villa Mercedes in San Antonio. And as I said, I'm going to be cooking an incredible salt baked fish. I've got my beautiful sea bass that I got earlier today at the market. My salt from Salinas. I'm going to be serving it with a medley of autumn vegetables and a beautiful parsley, caper, butter and lemon sauce. I'm going to be cooking it for Javier, the owner of this place, and also his sons, the Mambo brothers. So here we are at Villa Mercedes with the legendary Mambo brothers. Apparently you are the chef of the family. Well, I enjoy cooking. It really relaxes me. Okay, so so are you okay if if yes. I have a helping hand by your brother? But, but you're not going to eat the fish because no, unfortunately, I don't eat fish. You're not a fish fan. No, I like. I am my fish fan. I love looking at them. Okay. But I don't like tasting them. Okay. So. So sadly, well, I've got a beautiful vegetable dish that goes with this. For years, I've been trying to make a meat fish. Yeah. Could, they, could, could this be the day? I don't think so. We were in the in Japan in the Tsutsuki market eating yeah. the freshest sushi, and I told them, "Come on, taste it." Yeah. After a three-hour wait, eh? After a three-hour wait, waiting in the At queue. At five in the morning. Five in the morning. Oh wow! I had to eat two portions. Obviously, it was a little small. Joint. That was a disappointment for you. Well, no. I tried. No, for us, for me, it was great because I ate loads of sushi, and it was yeah. lovely. But my brother had tried hard, come on, taste it. This is the best place in the world you're going to eat fresh fish. Wow. Like, oh. So, Alan, are you happy to, for me to continue with Christian as a kitchen assistant here? I would love here? to, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be making you some dirty martinis in the back. So, yes. Oh, my God. So, after you guys have a little bit of fish, we're going to have a cocktail together. I'm loving the sound yes. of that. So, tell me about your restaurants here. Well, Villa Mercedes is, is one of the... It's a lovely old house that was converted into a lovely version called Villa Mercedes. We did not change the name. Oh, that's how we, you, you, you inherited it with that yes. name? Yes. Oh, wow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just fill the, the inside of the fish with some lemons, Ibiza lemons, of course. So in the fish, I've got these beautiful spring onions. So just cut those down. It already smells amazing. Does it? Good. And then we're just going to stuff those in. So I've got my slices of lemon. 
parsley, and then the onion, pink peppercorns from I Ibiza. Okay, so we've got the amazing Salinas salt, that's straight from the salt flats, no refinement, just as it is, it straight from the mound. Good. Here in Ibiza, um, I've done a lot of research about the salt baked fish and various different recipes, but generally they will bind the, the salt with a bit of water and that's it, and then it just forms up its own crust. But I thought I would add a few extra ingredients just so when the fish steams inside, you get a little extra flavour. So I've got some fennel seeds, two tablespoons of fennel. Normally, as I said, you'd bind that with water, but I'm going to use egg. And that tends to make a more solid crust. And what you, what you really want to get is kind of um, a consistency of wet sand. And then also to the mix, I'm going to put lemon zest in, so a beef of lemon. Wow. It's amazing to think that this kind of fish, you would think it would come out so salty and it just comes out perfect. Juicy, tasty, and it's a really nice way to just take the fish on its own, really. Do you know what the secret is? It's the scales that protect it. So if you ever do it and do it at home, just make sure that the scales are on because they just completely repel any of the the salt permeating Super. the flesh so that's that be one one of the tricks that i did not know about place the rest of the mixture on the top so that will go in the oven for about 30 minutes can't wait i'm going to clean my hands <laughs> yeah you, you did get, get you did now <laughs> So to go with the fish, I've decided to do a medley of autumn vegetables. In a bowl, I've diced up some carrots and the butternut squash. In with the courgettes. The beautiful violet potatoes. Red peppers and a little bit of red onion. Then I'm gonna just put over a couple of cloves of crushed garlic. A good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And then in with some fresh thyme. I've got this from my garden. Just crush that over the top. Here I've got some onion salt. So over that goes. Really, really easy. Just give it a good shake. And then into the baking tray. Right, so they're all in the pan. So right at the end, an orange. This is from my tree in the garden. And then just one little squeeze over the top. What that does, that really brings out a citrusy flavour to the carrots and the vegetables. And the beauty of this dish, because it's all cut evenly, it can go into the oven at the same time as the fish. It's all going to cook together at once. I'm so lucky to have Javier, the owner of Villa Mercedes and half of uh, San Antonio. So now I'm going to make the sauce that goes with it. Yes, and I hear very good things about you. I hope will be fantastic. Apparently you love capers. I love capers. Okay. You know, always when I ask a pizza, I, I always ask to most pep, uh, capers. And I just to take in Fortuna and Mason, salmon, salmon, and peppers, and a bottle of Bollinger. I have to go for years. So you're very classic. Uh, always you know, classic. Always classic. So I'm just going to make a a parsley lemon, yes. just a very classical sauce with butter and olive oil. I put two cloves of garlic, yes. and just on a, a medium heat with some beautiful Spanish olive always oil. Always oil is very important. You have and is the best, the best oil in Spain. We don't want that to colour so we're just gonna gently gently fry that and then you love your capers. Oh I love capers. So that goes in and then local butter. Yes. 50 grams. This would be enough for four people. In Spain because we are Mediterranean, Ibiza, to eat is the family, the friends, you know that. Always associate the good moments yes. with the food. So I've got fresh parsley. This is yes. from my garden. Quite a lot of parsley. 
I love pink peppercorns. Like, God don't give me the talent for cooking, but yeah. I have the talent to taste. And then just at the end, some lemon, and that will cut through the fat from the butter. And this is just a very classical sauce for, a, for fish. Keep it simple. So we're going to go and check the fish and see if that's ready. Thank you, Javier, for, for your Thank insight. Thank you to be passionate what you're doing. Oh, I'm touched. Thank yes. you. So, wow. Et voila. <laughs> mm. And, and that will slip away. So the scales, they all come off. Puedo probar el menú. You want to do the vegetables here? Yes. So we've got seasonal vegetables from Ibiza. Oh, very good, very good. And then we've got your caper butter sauce. For full recipe details for the salt baked sea bass, the roasted vegetables, and parsley butter sauce, please follow the recipe at lovefoodabitha.com.